Hey guys, so today we have one of my favorites. It is a CNC 35 Mark III. Uh, I know this boat pretty well because I owned one for a while, but this is Scrimshaw. It is a 1986, uh, so let's hop on board and I'll show you around. Okay, so CNC 35 Mark III. So if you know anything about CNC yachts from about the mid to late 70s on, most of the designs are Rob Ball designs. This is a Rob Ball design and probably one of his best. Uh, I love Rob Ball designs. Uh, they are fast. They are nice down below, lots of teak. The layout is amazing. Uh, he just designed a really nice boat and CNC built a really nice boat off of his design. So uh, I used to own a CNC 35 Mark III. I had a 1985. Uh, it was a great boat. I had it for a couple years and then moved up to a CNC 41. I've also sailed a CNC 33. Um, just great boats. CNC built some really, really nice boats. Uh, they do have balsa cord hulls, uh, anything over the 33 footer, so you've got to make sure you get a really good survey uh, on your hull to make sure that there's no moisture in that balsa cord at all. Um, you've heard the CNC smile. It can be a thing if they've been bottomed out or stored incorrectly. You can get some seam at the keel joint, um, but the boats are bulletproof. I mean, they're just tough boats. They're fast, they're light, um, and they'll get you through a lot of really bad, heavy stuff. So let me show you the inside. All right, so starting in the back, we've got a nice roomy aft berth with a really nice nav station, plenty of storage, good space underneath. We got two drawers here, which are pullouts. We also have storage compartment down there. Uh, on this one, this is where the battery controls are. Uh, the engine is a Yanmar 3GM, uh, which is a great motor. Uh, these things just run really, really well. Um, pushes the boat, no problems. This has a folding feathering prop, um, you know, so it, just, it does really, really well. Uh, I like the Yanmar uh, 3GM. Uh, so then we've got the galley, so nice double sink. Got a roomy, ooh, got some stuff in there, it's got to come out. <laughs> got a, a nice ice box. Good storage back here. Uh, borrowed a little space from in the back for some pull out drawers. There we go. And then this is usually where you put your garbage can on the back side of there. A little paper trowel roll, place to hang your wine glasses. Um, this boat has had this little thing put in, which is nice because you can get a little cross air through, but you can also talk to the person as you're cooking, which is kind of neat. Uh, lots of windows, good, nice lighted space. You can see lighting in here is really good. Uh, we got a table that has a flip out uh, that is removable and it drops down to make a double berth. Got a single berth on this side. Uh, the boat that I used to have had a, another berth here that you folded down. It was like a cot you could take off. Got great storage here. Really good storage behind. On both sides, same thing. Good storage over here. Underneath the cushions. We got some more storage down there. Uh, windows fold open. This is a keel stepped mast. A nice deep bilge. It goes down there pretty good. It holds quite a bit of water if you need to, not that you want to. So here's the head. Um, nice roomy head. Headroom's a little tight. If you're six foot tall or taller, it can be a little tight, but it's got a little pull out shower wand. Storage down below, storage in the back, storage down here. Um, there's the shower sump pit. It's got a pedal pump here. Most of these are pressurized for working the shower as well. Mirror and a little vent, a little vent there. All right, then behind the door for the V-berth, we got a little storage area here. So a little wet locker that zipper needs to be taken care of. And then V-berth. V-berth is very comfortable, good spacious area. Um, we've got storage underneath here. We got a cubby here, two drawers, and a door opening down here for some storage. Got 
got storage up top here. And then it's an enclosed anchor locker uh, available from the top. Then a nice hatch here. Uh, we do have a midship hatch as well. So this is the interior. Oh, it does have a three burner stove or is it a four burner? Three burner stove. Uh, these work really well with the oven. Uh, pretty good. It, it, these boats typically had a pretty good freshwater system uh, with pressurized water. Um, you know, they just, there's pretty good layout down here. So everything accessible for your winch handles and um, all your bolts and fasteners for all the winches, sorry, and the uh, rope clutches underneath here. So easy access to get to those. And then you've got some uh, recessed lights here, which is a nice touch. Uh, good lighting on the boat, good fans. All right, so let's go up into the cockpit. So it is a bit of a steep four step up. So you gotta watch yourself going up because you don't wanna take that tumble. Uh, but coming into the cockpit, cockpit is pretty spacious on this boat. Uh, one of the things they did on this one is they designed it for the main sheet traveler to be over top of the companionway, which up on that cabin top makes your uh, space in here much roomier. So starboard, got storage lock uh, tray there, and then nice deep spot here. That's where our battery charger is. Uh, sometimes you'll get a water heater down there. Then in the back, being a cruising boat, we got plenty of propane. We got two propane. Top rail comes off, swim ladder goes down. Um, one of the only knocks on this boat is that I think I feel like they should have went to a split backstay because this one kind of gets in, in your way when you're sitting here, kind of hit it on your head. But oftentimes, one of the things I do like about the CNC is these perch seats. So you sit down in here and it creates this spot for you to be able to kind of lean against as you're healing up. Um, the helm is good. It's a Ritchie compass. And then uh, we got the Edson. Everything's pretty good here. This has a, a brand new Raymarine autopilot. Um, forward reverse on this side. Uh, throttle on that side. Here's our start control panel. That right there is for the windlass at the top. And then you've got a whale pump here. Uh, yeah, we went keyless. I removed the keys and I have a kill switch hidden down below. Uh, instruments on here, and then we've got plenty of winches. So this boat doesn't have the self-tailers uh, here. The boat I had had another set here and they were self-tailing, so we use that for uh, spin and then the self-tailers for the jib. Uh, it's got uh, anywhere from three to four on the layout for the cabin top. This one used to have a fourth over here but was removed, self-tailing winch. Um, and then going forward, we got a nice long car rail. It goes all the way up. Uh, you can set that inner inner portion up here for a number three and pull it nice and tight. Got a winch up on the deck, good deck organizers, uh, nice profile on the mast. It does have a baby stay because it's a masthead rig. So that baby stay allows you to put some bend into that mast, which is nice. Uh, moving forward, nice wide open decks. We do have a power windlass on this boat. Uh, nice anchor and pulp, the pulpit's pretty well set up. Uh, one of my favorite spots is right there. That is the pulpit seat. Um, you can kind of look back and see the whole boat while you're out. Really, really nice. Uh, this boat does come standard, came with rod rigging. Some people have switched that out because the cost of rod rigging when it is time to replace it's pretty expensive. This has a soft bang. Really nice little cubby up here for holding your sail ties and anything else that you want to just throw in there. Um, you know, any tweakers or blocks that you want to toss in there to keep that you would normally use. It does have this inner uh, car rail here if you want to use that. So that is the CNC 35 Mark III. Uh, it is a great boat. Again, if you had a chance to own one of these, I don't think that you would be disappointed with it at all. It sails great upwind, really, really good under spinnaker. Doesn't do anything that'll surprise you. It does what a boat's supposed to do. Uh, it's very comfortable, nice to stay overnight. Um, you know, it's just a great layout. So CNC Mark III, 35. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Mm -hmm.